welcome back students uh, today we are going to discuss one more problem on slr1 so we can even expect questions in slr1 wherein you may be asked to check whether the given grammar is slr1 or not or you may be asked even to prove that the given grammar is not slr1 so let's see how to solve this problem in either way we need to construct the slr1 passing table first so let's follow the steps and complete the table first initially we need to create an augmented grammar so let's do it quickly so i'm going to introduce a new starting state which is s dash and the given grammar is s producing a a a b bar b b b a and there is two other product epsilon productions also we haven't seen epsilon productions earlier so let's see how to solve this this is the augmented grammar the next step is to construct a large zero set of items or canonical set of items okay so how do we construct a large zero set of items it is by introducing a dot into in front of the right hand side of the production so this becomes one of the set of item now i have to add the productions of s from the given grammar so we have two different productions that is s producing a a a b as well as s producing b b b a we have to put a dot sign in front of the right hand side to make it a set of item now since after dot we have a non terminal we have to append this production also a's production what is a's production a producing epsilon epsilon means nothing hence what we will write a producing dot because there is no transitions for epsilon as such we cannot show because there is nothing now we have added a's production now we need to add b's production also so b is also having an epsilon production so b producing dot anything else to add no so this is our first set of item or first state we call it this as i 0 this is i 0 now go to i 0 with the first non terminal let's see first we are going to consider s okay so i 0 s so what we have is s dash producing s dot so this is i 1 next go to i 0 <coughs> capital a so what we have is s producing a dot a a b anything else to add to this set of item no why because after dot what we have is a terminal so this is our next set of item which is which we call as i2 go to i0 with b s producing b dot b b a we have shifted dot to one position to the right side okay so now this becomes i 3 now anything else any other transitions which we can make with i 0 we have considered s we have considered a we have considered b do we have to do any other transaction with this particular production no why because this itself is an n production okay final production so those are the things which we can do with i 0 Now let me draw a line. 
okay next we will see go to with i1 there is no further productions possible because this is a final item dot is at the very end of the production now with i2 we can have three more transitions so first after dot we have a small a so let's consider that so i2 with small a so what we can have is s yes, producing capital a small a dot is moved to one position right a b now what we have here is a non terminal after dot so we have to append a's production to this set of item what is a's production we have a producing epsilon a producing epsilon can i write epsilon no in order to make it an set of item just put a dot a producing dot okay anything else to add no other production of a so this is over now this is our i 4 go to now uh, i 2 we just have one production we have made a transition with that now with i 3 i can have a transition with b i 3 b so what we have is as producing b b dot b a is this over no i have to append b's production to this set of item what is b's production b producing epsilon so there is no need of writing epsilon not to make it a set of item just put b producing dot now this is a new set of item we call it as i 5 next so with i 3 we have we have finished with i 3 now with i 4 i4 a i4 capital a i4 capital a what we have is s producing a a capital a dot b do we have to add any other productions with this no because after dot we have a terminal it's not a non terminal so this is over now this is i6 new set of item go to with i4 do we have any other transitions possible no this is just a final item now with i5 okay with i5 capital b so what we get is s producing b b capital b dot a so this is i7 so with i4 is over i5 is over now with i6 b go to i6 sorry it's small b i6 with small b we have s yes, producing a a a b dot so this is also become a final item we name it as i 8 i 6 b we have considered now pending is i 7 so go to i 7 a i 7 small a what we have is s producing b b b a dot now this is also a final item we call it as i Nine. So <coughs> now the transitions are over. Now we by utilizing these transitions, we can fill the SLR passing table. Okay. Now let's start filling the table. So this is just an outline of the table. Now you have different states here. Now we have actions as well as. go to states we have got i0 to i9 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 now under actions we need to write the terminal symbols so we have a we have b and then epsilon you need not write epsilon because 
there is no further transactions possible with epsilon and then dollar now go to i should mention the non terminals we have a we have b and then the start symbol which is this okay fine now let's fill the entries so with i0 first with i0 s yes, you move to i1 so 1 sorry with i0 s yes, is 1 i0 s yes, is 1 i0 a is 2 so here it should be 2 i0 b is 3 i0 b is 3 now i2 a i2 small a 4 i2 small a 4 i should mention s 4 okay now i3 small b i5 i3 small b i5 so s 5 i4 capital a i6 i4 capital a i6 so right 6 i5 capital b 7 i5 capital b 7 i6 small b i8 i6 small b s 8 i7 small a 9 so s 9 so we have filled out the shift operations shift actions okay the model is pending is accept and then reduce actions because blank entries are errors so where do where should we mention accept it is where we encounter the root the root we are encountering in state 1 s dash producing s dot is an i 1 so 1 dollar i should mention accept now where to write reduce so now to mention the reduction you need to first name the given productions so let me name the given productions let r1 b s producing a a a b r2 b s producing b b b a r 3 b a producing epsilon and r 4 b b producing epsilon okay and then we need to find the follow of all the non terminals so let's find the follow follow of s yes. what is follow of s there is no production wherein you can find s in the right hand side of the production so whatever is to be there in the follow of s is just dollar next follow of capital a what is follow of capital a let's see if you consider this production follow of a follow of a is whatever is remaining after a first of that so first of a small a capital a b is just small a anything else here also you can find capital a so considering this a the follow of a is first of b so you have b now follow of capital b similarly follow of b is you have b and then if you consider this b you have first of a so small a so we have found out follows now let's fill in the reductions the first reduction a production is s producing a a a b so find out in which state you find s producing a a a b dot a a a b dot is in i8 so in i8 you should fill the r1 where to fill r1 r1 should be filled in the fall of s fall of s is just dollar so i should mention r1 here now what about r2 s producing b b b a dot b b b a dot we found in 
state i9 so in i9 where should i mention r2 should be mentioned in follow of s follow of s is just over so again this is r2 now r3 r3 is a producing epsilon so find where is a producing dot so a producing dot you can find in i0 right in i0 you find a producing dot so in i0 i should enter r3 where should i enter r3 in follow of a follow of a is ab so in a and b i should mention r sorry it's an i0 i0 you can find a producing so this is r3 r3 now anywhere else i can find a producing dot of course you can find a producing dot in i4 so in i4 also i should mention where should i mention r3 it's in a and b so this is r3 and this is r3 okay anywhere else no these are the two different states wherein you can find a producing dot now similarly you find b producing dot b producing dot is also present in i0 so in i0 i should mention uh, r4 where to mention r4 in follow of b in follow of b you have a and b so here you should enter r4 in a as well as in r4 in b now anywhere else you can find b producing dot yes in i5 so again i5 also you should mention r4 r4 now the table is complete but we need to find the answer for the question we have been asked to check whether the given grammar is slr1 or not so as you can see in the action portion you have r3 r4 in 0a as well as r3 r4 in 0b it means that there is a conflict so we know that there are two different types of conflicts in slr passing which is reduce reduce conflict reduce reduce conflict and then you have shift reduce conflict so these are the different conflicts that is possible in a shift reduce process so since you have a reduce reduce conflict here this particular grammar is not slr1 so when you are asked to find when you are asked to check whether the given grammar is slr1 or not or to prove that the given grammar is slr1 or not just create the slr1 table and see what is the entries in the uh, table if you find any kind of shift reduce conflict or redu reduce reduce conflict in that case you can say that the given grammar is not slr1 i hope this is clear thank you